just slipped out on this little tarp. It's a nice morning. Well, last year we had Dan's legs. This year, Zach's feet are probably second degree burn. Struggling. There, there's blisters on them. So. I don't think Birkenstocks have ever graced his feet. <laughs> this is my first time in sandals for the year. My feet are paying for it. <laughs> not going well for his poor little feet. It's not frying hot. Still got a breeze going. So actually the weather has been much nicer than expected. Well, just a little recap of what's going on here this morning. We woke up, had coffee, went and rebated the lines. As we're rebating the lines, Zach shot his first gar with his bow and we caught another half pound to pound channel cat. So right now we're getting the fire going. We're going to have, I don't know what time it is. Uh, we're going to have breakfast of fried catfish. After that, we're going to pack up camp. We got eight miles between us and the takeout. Um, we'll head down probably six miles, six mile float, something like that. Set up camp and just chill. This trip is really, really turning out fantastic. Everything's going great. So don't forget the FDH challenge. You guys got to get out and do this. Get out two, day, two nights. Don't take any food with you. You can take bait. We didn't, but you can. Take pictures, video, send it to me. I'll post it on Facebook on multiple pages. I'll post it on Patreon. I'll promote it. I would love to see you take the FDH challenge. Make sure that you do a shout out if you do a video. But let's get it go. Come on guys, get out, get out and try it. Well, we are about ready to cook up some catfish. We have quite the view, I'll say. It's a pretty campsite. I like that at home, you don't eat off the silverware that you drop on the floor. Out oh, here, you go and gut a fish and then just clean your food. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it is ready. Let's see, take a bite. I'm gonna take a little bite. And you're ready to go. Don't you dare drop that in the sand. Good? It's hot. <laughs> Let's go. We're heading on down river, probably do five to six miles. Find a new camp spot. Finish out the trip. This has been a nice little spot, I gotta say. Beautiful area. It's about one o'clock. And we are heading out to campsite number two. We have all the fish we need. So there's no urgency and it's just relax time from here. We're off. Tell you what, these Ascend H12s are the ultimate all-terrain kayaks, all-purpose kayaks. I'm in love with these H12s. So we have found a sweet little cliff. Can we call that a cliff? We can call it a cliff. It's and a we're gonna do cliff. a little cliff jumping on. This you ever oh, cliff man. jump before? I've never cliff jumped. Wait, am I cliff jumping now? I don't know, I am. This is what happens when you have secured all your food. Here he goes. I'm next.
Did you like it, Freaky? Yeah, I loved it. That was fun. <laughs> so after our cliff jumping, we're moving on. Whole different adventure than last year for sure. We're just little boys out playing in the river. Barely even paddling or moving and just talking. It's a good time though. Yeah. Just meandering down the river. Golden boy spotted a mulberry tree here, so we just stopped on the banks and picked up some mulberries. I don't know, mulberries I've never seen, they're white. We're still floating this stretch. We have floated this river about as slowly as a human being can float it. So we're kind of looking for a spot to settle here. And a lot of clouds are developing. The wind's picking up. And we're maybe looking at a thunderstorm. We'll have to see. If you don't live in an area that has thunderstorms, it's a great. It's an interesting feeling. Ominous is a good word for it, I'd say. Well, we have made it to camp. And man, I am exhausted. I don't know if some kind of overheated or what, but I am feeling it. Here's Aiden getting some firewood. I gotta start helping here in just a sec. Here's what the river looks like here. We've got these willows we're up against. Over here, we're gonna sleep on this tarp. Fish fires coming along back over here. Plenty of easy things to burn around here, that is for sure. Frankly. Another meal of gar. Speaking of the gar master, oh, here's the food. There's the gar. Well, you know, we've got our gar cooking. In the meantime, we've got some massive thunderheads building up. We've got a nice chance of rain tonight, 60% between three and four. Hopefully it'll rain a ton and the river will just rise and it'll everything come rushing at us. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we want. So, we're wearing down, but still enjoying it for sure. Oh man, legs are red. Storm is a coming. It's coming. So the survival weekend is taking a turn for the worse. We've got no way to get out of the rain. And now we're in this double-sided tarp taco, what we're calling it. And uh, well, it's gonna be a wet, wet survival night. Let's just say that. It's not looking good for us though, I'll tell you that. How you feeling there, boy? I'm a little wet. <laughs> but, uh, definitely feeling adventurous right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a rough one. This reminds me of our first uh, our tornado hunt. This is actually worse than the tornado. Yeah, it's because we're so. Yeah. Alrighty, so. Hold it up. This is worse than the tornado? Yeah. yeah. We were dry on the tornado. What is that? <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> this is crazy though, man. This is so stupid, we could have easily prevented this. Well, there's a big gap there. <laughs> ah, that Iowa fella. So we got totally cocky. We thought we had it made. We knew rain was coming, and for some reason we didn't prepare for it, and now we are drenched. <laughs> Absolute total failure. This was the tarp taco. This is where I was laying. <laughs> Let me see that again. This is where I was laying. So as the storm rolled in, we dove onto the tarp and folded it around us like a taco. Unfortunately, it is supposed to rain a lot tonight 
and we don't want to try to endure it. We're only a mile from the boat ramp, so we're just going to try to get the heck out of here. I don't know. Is this considered a survival fail? I may put a vote up here. Do you think we failed in the survival challenge? Yes or no? Aiden says yes is his vote. All right. Any, fa any great last words, Zach? Uh, well, it was awesome to be out here with the FDH crew.